Several of the James Bond movies have been filmed in Nassau. And on our summer vacation this year, I got to tour a few of the locations. Our first stop is the British Colonial Hilton Nassau, used in the movie Never Say Never Again. Never Say Never Again was released in 1985, and here I am in the lobby in 2005. Chrissy, the desk clerk, was nice enough to take me on a tour of the James Bond room. The room is filled with all sorts of Bond memorabilia, and it is available for rental if you want to live out the fantasy of being James Bond for a night. So they actually stayed in this room, did they? Uh, I believe they just actually filmed in this room. They just filmed in the room? Yeah, I'm not sure if they stayed or not. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And they use the beach for. So they probably did stay in this, this particular room as well. Maybe. Okay. And the next time you're in the Bahamas, call us up and book the James Bond. I will. <laughs> I will. This is the Balkan Bomber that was used in Thunderball, which was released in 1965. Here I am, 40 feet down, and at this exact location in 2005. This metal framework is all that's left of the Balkan Bomber. Time and seawater has eaten away the outer skin. Incredibly, a big happy-faced dolphin swims by. My dive partner and I looked at each other and we both thought, can this get any cooler? This is the Tears of Allah rack used in the movie Never Say Never Again, which was released in 1985. And here I am videotaping it in 2005.
This is the hole that Bond swims through when the shark is chasing him. <laughs> 